Today on our 2004 Chevrolet Silverado 3500, we're going to be installing the Takancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195. In addition to the brake controller, we're also going to be using the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter for electric brake controllers for GM vehicles, part number 3015-P. Now here's what our P3 brake controller looks like. We get a couple different options for mounting it. We can use the standard metal bracket style, or we can use the metal and plastic combination. This one here will allow you to remove the brake controller when you're not using it, but because it is out of plastic, it is not quite as durable as our metal one here. Now this particular vehicle here is a work truck, so we're gonna go ahead and install the metal bracket to give us a little better chances of the brake controller staying connected onto the lower dash where we'll be putting it. Now that we've gone over the parts of the brake controller, here's the wiring harness that we're gonna be using. We're gonna go ahead and get our brake controller mounted up, and then we'll make our wiring connections. Now here on the dash, there's already a couple holes, as this vehicle has already had a brake controller installed previously. So instead of drilling some new ones, we're gonna go ahead and utilize those holes. Now that we have our bracket mounted, we'll go ahead and take the wiring harness plug it into the back of the brake controller. You'll notice here's a locking tab. Lines up with this little tab right here built in on the brake controller. You wanna make sure you hear it click. Next, we'll go ahead and we're gonna mount the brake controller, selecting one of the four options. We're gonna to choose to mount it a little bit closer to the dash. So we'll use one of these two holes. We'll be using the machine screw and threading it into the hole here as well as on the other side right here. Next we're going to need to gain access to the fuse block or the, the electrical connections underneath this plastic cover. We'll need to remove this plastic nut right here. And then lift the cover out of the way. So now once you have the cover removed, when you flip it over, there's a diagram on the back side. We're looking for this connector right here. So as we're looking at it, it matches up with exactly what's up there. So we'll look for the second one over from the left on the top. So this port right here. Next we'll need to route our wiring harness over to our fuse panel area. When you line up the plug, you want to make sure the locking tab is on the top side and plug it in. I want to make sure you hear it click. Next we can go ahead and put our cover back in place. With our cover back in place, we'll go ahead and use a few zip ties to help secure any loose wiring. We can then go ahead and trim off any excess zip tie. So now we have all of our connections made. Go ahead and pull the manual override. You'll notice without our trailer connected, it says no trailer connected. Now we'll go ahead and plug the trailer in. Now with our trailer connected and you do the manual override, see we get power reading. There's three different boost levels, one, two, and three, as well as off. And the higher the level of boost, the more aggressive the brakes will be applied. These two buttons here are what adjust the maximum power setting. There's the down and there's the up as well as several other functions. This button here on the lower right allows you to go into the setup screen where you can do and adjust several other functions of the brake controller. And with that, that'll do it for the installation of the Takancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195, in conjunction with the Takancha Plug-In Wiring Adapter for electric brake controllers for GM vehicles, part number 3015-P on our 2004 Chevrolet Silverado 3500.